Just hit a button, Morty. Give me a beat. Oh man. Okay. All right. Um. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, I got in a lot of trouble for that. What? Because uh, I made a comment and it got back to like Perkins and Rick and the fact that like they agreed upon the bet. Mm -hmm. And the drafting was okay. It's so. in the contract. It's okay to draft. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, I, still had some money on that. All, all the guys did. Everybody did. They were against him or for no, him? for for him. Yeah, for I, him I thought he was a bit. I'm, once he had the training partners, he did. I just liked mm -hmm. his chances. Well, well after Samantha, he completed it. He yeah, did. he did yeah. like with like 15 hours. But after hours of Samantha spent. did it like like a breeze. Yeah. In like but that was also 72 hours and like 72 I don't hours. know if like bike riding if the fact she's a lot smaller makes a big difference that Probably. it makes it easier. Probably. But once I saw his bike with the seat because that was the big issue with Sam right, was right. the seat. Right. So once he had that, I'm talking about Dan Bilzerian's biking right, right. bet. He had to ride a bike from but Las Vegas is, to Los Angeles in 48 hours. Valid, then. Yeah. So did you have money on blitz? Well, I, I no one wanted to bet against him. They're going to arbitration. I mean, there's it's so lots of playable hands to kick things off except for Maria's unfortunate straddle. Both Andrews and Glance hit top pair. Oh, there's a discrepancy in the bet now? Rick's claiming something, but it's total bull****. And oh, Rick didn't wow. even have a bet on the actual, like, race. He had mostly bets on what's, like, dying on this. Like, right, yeah, what, I kind of read to, well, like, do, to, like, bet on someone to, like, die in a bet. You know what I mean? It's yeah. Just, I think why? that was a joke, though, right? No, that was that legitimate was bets. Yeah. 16. Well, the bet was 600 from Andrews, and then it got raised oh, no, by Matt Glantz. So action now on Sean Deeb. Jay, you definitely get the action going, buddy. <laughs> Good luck, Jay. You got tips on you, Jack? I'm gonna borrow a pumpkin. <laughs> well, the local Andrews is all in. Tough for Glance to fold top, top. All right, I'm all in. Call. I fought this set. Did you? Yeah. Right. You have aces? Backdoor flush draw. And backdoor, backdoor straight flush draw? draw? Backdoor wow. straight draw. You just got in with ace 10? <laughs> You're such a fish. Huh? Wow. This is a three-way all-in. <laughs> Lance and Andrew's looking to chop this if Deeb doesn't hit. Five, six. Nice. How do you just know your nice. speed's gonna come? I told you it's 10%. Oh my god. Wow. 100%. Wow. That's sick. That's for you. Unbearable. Black seven, Matt, 50-50. Unbearable, black seven. I think I cover you, by the way. Yeah. You guys are all getting muted. Earlier, we saw Mueller win a huge pot with kings versus queens, and then he started getting mixed into that 5-3 business. Now he's back to good, solid cards with pocket jacks. Give away there. Yeah. I believe me, I had the three of clubs, and I thought for a while. He makes it 400 here. Action is on Sean Deeb. Sean has been paying attention, knowing the Mueller's been playing a lot of hands, and would you believe it, Sean Deeb now has 5-3, and he raises. Are you on full blown? Cool. No. No? You passed full blownness. Passed full blownness. I like I like full blownness. I said this is gonna be stupid. Like I know he doesn't have the king or the queen. This is probably pretty insane, but I don't think it's yeah, about a fifteen. Race. If there's anyone you could double through, it's probably Sean. So <laughs> yeah. I do like him turning it into a. What is it? This one here is going to be King Ivy's yeah, Jack. Like Flop double. is Queen, 6, 5, all diamonds. Deep hits bottom pair. I might have to go piddle. Mueller will check his pocket jacks. Very good a very good chance I'm going to have to go piddle very soon. Yeah. Play almost ending for the care, day I'm here sorry. on day one. I don't want to be almost done. I'm stuck. A lot. Sean checks. Mueller bets 1500. I gotta put the WWW on this. Otherwise, they won't know it's the web. <laughs> Day two tomorrow with a brand new cast of characters here at our cash game. Good thing about being stuck, though. The one good thing is I'm up like 3000 A call from Deeb. And John Deeb action Now almost $6,000 in this pot. Here comes the river. Oh no, it's another five. Check from Sean. Has Mueller had enough? Oh. Mueller bets 3,900 and Sean Deeb shows the 5 3. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Wow. And Greg Mueller is uh, less than amused. I finally had a real hand.
1.2 million for the Teaching Tolerance Charity. It's in one night. Every once a year, it's beautiful. You know, Todd, Todd won that last year or the year before. He got the button raised from Locke with Ace King. $25,000 Groff certificate. Oh, yeah, he did. He said he couldn't buy anything in the store. It's at the pen. A repop from Deeb with 8.7 to 700. And a quick call from Phil Locke. Open ended straight draw for Sean Deeb. Top pair, top kicker for Phil Locke. And Deeb is first with that draw. Looks like we're playing only big pots tonight on Poker Night in America. And just like that, Sean Deeb makes a straight on the turn. I bet it's 16.50. Lock calls. $6,300 in the middle as we go to the river. Deeb puts them all in the middle. $10,375 all in. If I call in a row, you flip me for 10, so I get a shot to either get stuck 10 more or get unstuck. I don't even know why I ask. I know he's probably going to say yes to that if that was over. I call. The nuts. A call from Phil Locke has just turned into the biggest pot of the night on Poker Night in America worth over $27,000. There's 10. Take the rest, whatever you need, kid. Yeah, I know, I know, but there's so much side conversations going on. Yeah, it kind of no, dominates right. the discussion. Sometimes well, you get on a cool discussion, like, you really think that of someone. Like, it's there are right. the benefits of that, but I think from the TV show aspect, it's yeah. not good. Now you got to raise her blind to her. Cause he cause he raised asked. my blind. He knows you're just folding. Our blind. It's basically it's uh, our blind. And you guess something about somebody on the table. Sean Deeb calls but, out of yeah. his big blind. That was pretty mean. One man. of them last time was like, how much would it cost Gavin? How much would you have to pay him to not hey, eat hey. his favorite food for the rest of his life? And somebody else guesses it, and then you like go under and over. And... They did that actual one. I mean, it was really small. I don't really have a favorite food. There's no food I can there's, just. There's something you like to eat. I think my favorite is like pasta of some sort, but I mean, I wouldn't, it'd be a very small amount of money to make me not eat it for the rest of my life. If you told me the amount of money to not drink Greyhounds for the rest of my life, that'd be a be more than any food on this earth. That's that'd be sure. a freaking enormous number. But tell me I can't eat steak for the rest of my life. Give me 500, I'm good. Yeah. And then that way, when they say, well, I'll give you this, right. you will, we'll bet this much that you'll never eat it again. I'll, yeah. I'll handle it. Have you ever had reindeer? That's also really good. Yeah, reindeer sausage. I have in Alaska, yeah. Reindeer sausage. I had it in uh, Poland or yeah. Finland, I had it in. But, but I, I, the river is a seven, so there's the straight for Sean Deeb. Flush obviously would have been easier, but hits the gut shot for the straight. It's probably going to get him paid because Balan probably will not see the gut shot straight draw coming this home there on the river. The other day, <laughs> the picture of him dragging the moose is. He couldn't drag a moose by himself. No, I'll show you the picture. It's not dragging. I, I mean, guess. they can weigh like two thousand pounds. Oh yeah, I mean, or more. he got a lot out of it. I mean. And JRB's betting. 2,200 the bet. On. That's a moose. On. And I call. Straight. Hmm? Straight. Straight's good. I see. Over $19,000 in that pod. What a river. And just like that, JRB was rolling, and now there goes the money. Yeah, he's probably made all the mistakes he's going to make. Yeah, like my confidence needs any help. <laughs> First class, right? I wish I had someone watching the live feed. It doesn't matter. Told me I played horribly ahead against you, by the way. Poker Night in America brought to you by 888 Poker, where the world plays online. The best is that when the, when the six peels off, Gavin instantly like celebrates. Like there's no way he could have Queen Jack and he could be drawing dead. No way. No possible way. <laughs> yep. So an initial raise from Matt Russell with King Eight of Hearts was called by Phil Locke in his big slick. 
Jody George calls with suited King nine. And there's the Sean Deeb we know, raising with Jack 10 of clubs, making it 1,200. I know, but it still would be nice for a flight that It's actually a pretty long day of travel, right? It's like, uh... It is long. It's 50. Oh, am I in the hand? Yeah. <laughs> and then, well, then you're about then to find out. Hold on. Let's see. Uh, I fold. Yes. Sorry. Just get as much TV time as you can. God, I cannot even believe long, nobody was hustling me along. Look at the Deber. Yeah, that's, yeah, I don't the Deber told them. <laughs> I don't want to lay it down. Personally, I think that you've been a little out of line with your needling today, Sean. I, you know, I didn't do it enough. I just thought that, you know, Andy, Andy was obviously a little sensitive, and I didn't think you had to attack. We are up to like our fifth or sixth Whoa. raise here to 35.75 from Phil Lott. I didn't do that. Like, especially, you know, times when you could have been a little upset, like when you lost a pot. Yeah. He doesn't need a needle right then. That's just, I think it's inappropriate. And, you know, I hope that Sean learns from this experience. I think he did. He's kids, you know? You know I was so glad that... Uh, yeah. I made it low enough so you have implied odds to get my whole stack, no, dude. So don't be shy. You know what I'm saying? You gotta at least call. Who raised more money? I did. I made it enticing. Normally I would do like 5,300 and detice. But I'm like, Sean and I have a little history, so we have to play these pots. See, I knew he'd raise it to 75 at the end. All right, here we go. Big hand developing with $7,700 in the middle. And here's the flop. Deeb hits his 10. Locke has got a pretty good draw. He's got two over cards and the straight draw. And he bets 9,000. Three thirty, I think. The big pots are like moments of silence. I was a team player there. I love no end of the fleeting yeah, moments, no, but yeah, moments. Yeah, fleeting moments. I don't know about you, but I really don't like silent poker. Silent poker? No. No, oh. not completely. And then all in from Sean Deeb. Hi, Cole. And look at wow. this. Man. Oh my goodness, we are now over $41,000 in this pot. No way. Ooh. Ooh. And oh gasps wow. and oohs and ahs from everybody at the table. I want to just call him. Yeah, that's how deep these guys are getting Hold with on. these hands. Hold it, Jack. Oh, turn. Oh, <laughs> it's really sick. That's what I was thinking. A big pot. And the turn is a it's nine, a so that takes some outs away from Locke. He loses the king now, because that would give Deeb a straight. Ace. And the river is a deuce, nice and just sense. like that, Thank Sean you. Deep turns Jack Ten of Clubs oh. into a forty-one thousand dollar win. Scared with I got a hand. Phil, I thought you had a set of That was not a hand. That. Yes. On the turn, you hit a king. Oh, okay. How'd you beat? You can't even talk. You can't even look at me or say something straight. What's your hat? I'm just. It's the truth. I can't hear you. Actually. There was one street I had you beat. I like the commentary. Oh. You got it? Yes, Kadali is all in. Oh, 1150 okay. with first ace four of diamonds. Set off this deck. I, 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 I didn't see the dealer forward. shuffle. I didn't see a shuffle either. No? How, de how warm is that Wait, deck? this flop is the time pot, guys, the dealer pot. Oh. All in 1150. All right. Sean Deeb will give her some action. <laughs> We're all in. We're all in over here. What am I supposed to do? I'm just laughing. This could be a big swing. Are you rebuying? If you lose? I got this. Dealer. There you go. There will be no, there will be no losing. Ace. Ace. That's you. Greg, that's here's your tip, buddy. Greg, your, that seat's very unlucky for the time pots. <laughs> Thank you. You got it. Dealer, can we see the turn card? dead. Deuce. Never dead. Oh. See? Wow. <laughs> wow. Never dead. Never dead. Runner. I love that runner. That is sick way to Dealer, can we see the river? Oh, oh. Thanks, Greggy. Oh, All right, it's for real. <laughs> That's so sick. See y'all. All right, Jess, good play with you. Nice play with you, Jessica. You were sick. I don't even know what that means. Uh, are we straddle? I guess we don't straddle for him. Um, I didn't take it on lunch. <laughs> I've still got that oh. much, though. I have one anyway. She's here at Ashley. Ultra glass of ice, please. Bill so Helmuth's going to get involved in his first hand of the night. I'm probably going to get a delayed round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah in five minutes, first. I'll be ready. Okay. Me too, me too. Too full from lunch. What are you, what are you drinking? Beer. Yeah. Robert yeah. Williamson III going to play his first hand of the night. It's like king, queen, beer. off suit. I told him to deal in. You don't watch Greg. Mueller calls. You can't have the bottle. Come deal in. You don't yeah. watch Schneider with ace four. You will call, and so five players will see the flop. What are you saying? It's gonna be tough. I said deal in and just watch this hand. 
A couple baby. of sevens on the flop help out Sean Deeb and Greg right. Mueller. Never tried this. Both of them flop trip sevens, but Mueller has them out of kick. You're, right. You're probably right. I think it's actually the last. last. Greg Mueller will not call the 200 that came from Helmuth. He makes it 1,200. Deeb calls. Player dropping the five dimer in there. RW3 gets out of the way. Look like it. A jack of clubs is the turn. So now Deeb also picks up a flush draw. And they're both going to check. And the river gives Deeb the flush. Mueller's betting into him. Just call. Oh, that's oh. bad. I guess seven. Which seven? Jack King plays. Yeah. That was kind of a half yeah, of a flush. slow roll. Oh, oh, my which God. seven? <laughs> oh, my I knew, God. I knew when he said just call, he, he, he got a flush on the end. At least he didn't say it. At least it is about to get crazy. Light him up. One time, one time. Poker Night in America brought to you by Kimo Sabi. A little greedy. Back at Rivers here no, in Pittsburgh. Greedy. Like 8-7 as a Dave example. Eldridge so. straddling and a double straddle for Mr. Worldwide. <laughs> oh, 8-7, right? Sean Bakker with Queen-9 offsuit makes it 600. A little loose for my liking, but hey, some of your juiciest pots and cash games are made from getting a little weird before the flop. Thank you, that was I might coming. be the only person who asked this, but I don't want the French fries. Uh, I'll uh, do cane with uh, just meat. Cheese. So it looks like Sean Bacher is going to throw good money after bad. He is in position, and Deeb is yeah. pretty live. A more. But I don't know what you're hoping to hit when you call a three bet with queen nine off. We have 4,500 in the middle, and it's eight seven versus queen nine. Well, top pair, pretty good kicker is one thing you can be happy to hit. And against a player like Sean Deeb, I'm going to think a nine is good here most of the time. I assume Sean's going to continue, though, with only eight high and a gut shot. 2K is the bet. Well, you can't fold right. now, Jackie boy. I mean, if you've watched Sean Deeb at all on Poker Night in America, you know he could be holding an instruction card and a business card from an insurance agent he met last year. Yeah. Night. He could be betting with anything right now. 10 on the turn. Now, now Deeb is open-ended. And Schombacher no longer has top pair. Yeah, good one, I think Sean's going to keep lot. firing There's at this. Lot, but I, I haven't been going to him lately. There's... Sean bets 4,500. Wednesday, Thursday. It was one point I playing Tuesday. Do you ever play it next? Yeah, he's used to play Jack trying to figure this out. You still play it now. I just, I sort of stopped doing the home games. Oh. I'd be pretty games. confused here whether or not he was trying to push me off a nine or if he was trying to protect some sort of over pair like Jack's. I used to play Tuesday, Wednesday. It's a pretty convincing I Jack's play story play at the I moment. I used to play Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturdays. And you know, it's pretty, it's pretty intensive, but there's a lot of home games in LA. Well, there's a big chip. That's a call. Wow, we're already over 15,000 in the pot. And oh, man, Sean Deeb gets there. The thing is, if you Makes play, it straight on the river. Then you kind of get, like, Fortune favors the bold. Game. Like, if you're playing all the time, Every time I know Sean poker, Deeb has the winner on the river, all I keep thinking is he's going to slow roll this poor guy. Sort of like he only does it to people he knows, right? And the game changes so fast. I mean, it's like. Yeah, Sean Bacher's got a nose, that's for sure. Constantly he does. So he might evolving. do it to him. All in. I'm not good enough to ever think about calling here. Like, I'm just folding 100% of the time, and some of the time I'm going to be wrong. I also probably would have folded, you know, on the turn or flop or, or pre flop. I fold. Good fold. Straight. You talked me into three betting this hand. I got to show one. Why didn't Sean wants one. to show, and he does. Oh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow. Yeah. Philadelphia. I would never do that, Sean, but in, but since you insist. Thank you. 
I'm just gonna lose 8,000 this hand, but I had to make it worth it. Fish, don't get, okay, that's all right, that's fair. That's a fair price. Uh, okay. Oh, here's the Sean Deeb that we know and love. 1,700 is his bet. How did this can happen? I'm gonna lose all this money. After Fishburg raises it to 500 with threes. This is exactly how I like my televised poker. Straddle, restraddle, raise a pocket threes, a three bet with seven five of diamonds, and Todd Brunson dropping F bombs. Yeah, now we're living. It's unbearable. Sean got me to waste $200. What's it, 1700? SS25, no limit, SS25. All right, so the three's barely hanging on here. It's a pretty fun flop for five, seven of diamonds, though. Deeb's got to keep betting it. He can get folds, and he can build a huge pot when he doesn't. 1,600 the bet from Sean Deeb. Call from Fishburg. I mean, I admire the call with the best hand, but how are you gonna hit a card on the turn you don't hate? Oh my goodness, he does it. <laughs> there were a lot of cards that would uh, have made Deeb a winner. He still hasn't found one yet, though. Fishburg checks. Somehow he managed to turn a card that can't counterfeit him. 35. 3,500 is the bet. And Fishburg, he's calling again. He's managed to get himself into the hardest spots possible. It's like he seeks out difficult decisions. He yeah. definitely enjoys pain. I think it's legally raised. And there comes the straight that Sean Deeb was looking for. Deeb drills Fishberg with the gut shot like he's Harry Houdini. Do you think the winner of this pot should give me the 200 back? Do you feel like the winner of the pot should give me the 200? Not only does Deeb make the straight, but it's fairly disguised. He's gonna be betting this more often than I check my phone. Deeb's all in. I don't know why I think I have him, but. Well, Fishburg had him until the river, and now Deeb is trying to make him pay for it. Straight. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. You're making sure for your real, right? So how much is Joe not gonna do that? This guy, I, man. I think I think they're making different color shirts for the levels and Matt <laughs> Glantz will yeah. pop first yeah. raise up to 300 with ace, but king, but and how, clubs. How can he not make shirts for his rail? Why why part of the fun of it. I just see people going what they want. Of course, McKean is not going to have t-shirts. He's getting bathing suits for his bikinis. Bikinis, bikinis. I got a lot of offers from a lot of people about shirts. I'd rather people like wear what they want. That's the face in the shove. I know. I know you're shoving, Matt. I don't want to let you off too easily. <laughs> I'm in Vegas. We're going to find you a nice BMW while you're down. You're going to make it 21? Something. No, a little, a little bit more. So it's like it's like shoving, but then it'll let you, allow you to shove. There's a lot of money at it. Point two? Bigger than second place right now. That's yeah. insane. Who How can, many big nobody blinds? can't afford to buy a piece of that. How many big blinds? Do I have? Yeah. <laughs> like 160 or something? <laughs> 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 I thought it was a bluff. <laughs> <laughs> Matt has aces. I know he has aces. <laughs> and I'm still gambling with him. <laughs> I don't have aces. Do you have kings? No, I have no pair. And these two are going to insist on That's slow rolling each other, so they won't yeah. know what each other has till That's the boards run out. Oh, we're showing an ace and a king. You going to slow roll or you going to flip? I'm gonna take bets he on wants the hand. a slow roll. That's what I'm playing. The jack. He plays jacks. <laughs> Sean's just jacks. gonna show his one live oh. card. Actually, I think Sean's telling the truth this time. Come on, two diamonds. Put two diamonds you out might, there. You might need to ace yeah. your king. Yeah, I would no, two I would four months trying to sell my stack. <laughs> that is right. not a great flop for oh, two diamonds, but it's a decent turn. Diamond. Or a deuce. Diamond. Or a deuce. Or nine. No ace king. or king. king. Diamond. There we go. Oh, come on. How? How much? Oh, God. Don't take the money. Don't take the money until he shows me. He has bought King of Diamonds. Yeah. Lance doesn't even know he's lost yet. You think I would I, get I, it I, in with King Jack I would, and Diamonds? I would bet he has Jacks for sure. <laughs> but if he has Diamond, it kind of sucks. Yeah. <laughs> Eve is asking how much it is. Should I push it over to you? As in, he's wondering how much he has to pay him. He, he just paid. Thing. What is happening? Uh, he's slow wrong, guys. Someone's got to pay. Push it over to him. 
Wait a second. Oh! <laughs> so close to being the most amazing slow roll ever, if only you turned the card over right. <laughs> Matt was so convinced I had Jags, too. That I was the king of diamonds. Part. The ace of diamonds is so brilliant. <laughs> That's not. You can't talk about how to raise it to 300. I should. I don't drink very often. Gavin, everybody, this is the time. everybody was worried about me once they saw David Maybe Williams' tweet of you sitting in the driver's seat of a bus with like a big bottle of liquor. They're like, I hope you make it there live. We don't condone drinking and driving. 810 suited for Greg Mueller. He's in the straddle. Drinking and playing on the other hand. Very acceptable. Right. And he will call after Tom Schneider folds, so we're three-handed to the flop. David is first. He checks his pair of aces. Mueller checks as well. Now to Sean Deeb. Sean with an open-ended straight draw. Your wife's trying to catch up. Your wife likes the wine? That's 350. <laughs> David's going to raise it to nine. Greg Mueller will fold, and so we're back to Sean Deeb. I think it's more common than you think. Yeah. Deeb makes the call, and so we'll see a turn. And check out Sean Deeb's eyes, looking deep into David's soul. It's a six pairing the board. There's 2,700 in the pot, and Levy is going to bet 900. Back to Sean. Oh, yeah, I gotta turn my mic on. Was it even on? No, I turned it off after the break. Oh. All right, you're loud enough that Tom's just oh, picking it up. missed all yeah. those good needles you were at, you had after the break? <laughs> what a joke. They didn't they even, tell, even you? tell you? Maybe they're not missing you. Either that or I'm so loud. It goes on both of their mics. Yeah. yeah. That could be. That's the one. Actually, Greg, why don't you go ahead and just shut that back off? We're good without it. All the needles I have to have to say. It's some good stuff, too. Yeah. <laughs> re-needle. Let's do a re-needle. <laughs> Bring back the old syringe. Yeah. Sean will see a river. <laughs> the used one. <laughs> and the river is a four of hearts, and that gives Deeb the straight he was looking for. Big risky in it. David's going to be first to act. Oh, David so moved hard. all in, and Sean shows that the river gave him the straight and is giving him all of David Levy's chips. You're calling him the nittiest guy at the table as he turns over the 5 8 off. It was a good spot that 5 8 off. So, hey, David Levy. I quit writing mean stuff in the comments, guys. I'm just kidding. Everything you write helps us, it's called engagement. Go to town. Also like and subscribe, but you'll write the mean stuff too. It's all good.